Hi, I'm Jay Hale. Um, thank you for doing this interview today. I have a few questions um, for you so your audience can understand a little bit more about you and your art. So first of all, how would you describe your art to me? Um, I'd say it's, it's close up, it's personal. Um, it's trying to get a little bit inside the character or the figure that I'm painting. Um, it just there's there's colour in there. There's a brush of colour and um, a, a light and dark element, thick paint, something personal. Um, yeah, I think it's about the personal thing for me. Mm -hmm. It's like anything I can I can touch a part of someone's mind or something. Mm -hmm. um, and maybe. Maybe most of that is going on in my own head, but nevertheless, if I can pull some of it out in some way and somebody sees something, then I think that's probably what I'm after. Okay. You know. And your favourite materials that you're using? Oil. Yeah, I don't know. Maybe because I'm a snob, but I was kind of like working towards oil all the time. And I always, people always told me that oil was, oh no, oil is difficult. And so it kind of became this thing, like a challenge for me. Actually, it turns out oil isn't so difficult. It's just people put you in fear of everything. Mm -hmm. And they don't need to, you know, it's, it's okay. We can all do it. It's easy, you know, if you just do it piece by piece. So oil, um, and at the moment, maybe a little bit of collage here and there. You know, I cut out, up a little uh, piece of paper or magazines and stuff, and I can integrate them. Um, but yeah, generally, I also find more vibrancy uh, in oil, I think. Mm -hmm. well, I don't know what it is. Again, maybe it happens in my brain, maybe, but it feels like it's, it's shinier somehow. It kind of, it's got more body, it's got weight mm -hmm. to it, so, yeah. Okay, thank you. Okay. And where do you take your inspiration from for your paintings? All around. Well, uh, portraits that I've done, it's just one of those things where you might look at someone and you see something that you want to explore. So that could be just a stare from the person, or an expression, or maybe something where you can see something behind, the, within their heads, you know, and you th you'd like to be able to pull that out in some way, you mm -hmm. know. Uh, a question, maybe, something like that. Otherwise, uh, tonal elements in body parts mm -hmm. and so forth, um, the warmth of the human figure, um, and really subtle uh, pieces of colour that happen when people interact and so for instance um, pale hands might come together here and there's a subtle redness and reflection that happens mm -hmm. I'm interested in that sort of thing tonality okay yeah. great and uh, tell me when and how did you decide that you're going to be an artist First. <sighs> Well, <laughs> I painted all my life and drew all my life, um, but then uh, when it came to university, I didn't want to take it towards a profession because back in the 90s, people would tell you all the time that you can't make a career out of that. Mm -hmm. You know, there's no money in it, whatever. And so I was aware, and the one love and passion that I had in life was film. Um, you know, films and wanting to direct and wanting to write and stuff and I was doing that sort of thing in my teens. So I ended up going to film school um, and getting a job as an editor when I came out and for 20 years I worked as an editor doing camera work as well and but um, the painting just disappeared and I, it's, it's almost like I forgot the painting existed and slowly life got kind of banal and boring and I felt that I needed to get out and once I stepped out of it, then I thought about paint again mm -hmm. uh, for the first time in many years. And okay. so that's how I basically dived back in. Mm -hmm. And now I, I love it. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And now you're full time. Full time. Yeah. Great. Yeah. Fantastic. So tell me something about your creative journey that uh. maybe most people don't know. That's difficult. Um, I don't know what to say, but I mean, maybe something like, it's, I don't know if it's too boring. Like, my father was an architect, mm -hmm. um, so I think my, my artistic ability comes from my dad. Mm -hmm. and my mum my 
can manage a stick figure and that's about it. That's her saying that. I say, no, you can... But, um, but I think it came that way and so um, from a young age I just, I just did it. There's no real story to it, I just enjoyed it and so I copied, you know, you watch TV, you copy, um, you know, like a, a five years old, you, you're drawing a picture of Clint Eastwood, mm -hmm. you know what I mean, going, oh, what does that look? But um, it's not like an adventure in drawing, it, it's just, it, it comes to the top and it's always been there, you know? Mm -hmm. It's not like, that sounds pretentious, I don't mean to sound pretentious. <laughs> you don't sound pretentious. It, it is interesting, you've clearly been influenced by yeah. some of the abilities from, from, from your yeah, father. And, and probably not every five-year-old draws Clint Eastwood from the television, certainly I haven't. With a, with a six-shooter and everything, you know, it was like, it was in the middle of it. Okay. <laughs> And uh, so that's uh, very interesting sort of about your journey and your art, but tell me also a little bit something about you. How, how do you work? How would you describe yourself? Mm. So do you like, you, you have an idea and then it's go, 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 for example, do you, or do you work on several paintings at the same time? And, and, and you are, as a person, are you very, detail oriented mm -hmm. or is there like you okay. keep going and keep going or how, where do, when do you know that for example you you're done sure okay it's a good question I love the idea of speed mm -hmm. and I love the idea that you grab a palette knife or a paintbrush and smack it on and bam 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 and then my problem is that once I've done that I kind of step back and go mm -hmm. just a little uh, and then I'm going too far, you know. So perfectionistic, perfectionistic in that and sense. And it's annoying. <laughs> okay. Um, because what I really want is, I guess that's what you're aiming for, uh, one is aiming for in the end, is the idea that you you see it, you paint it, you feel it, and it's done, mm -hmm. you know. And there's energy in it. And the more you work, the less energy is left in it. And that's difficult. But, um, I mean, that's sort of... All I can say, I, at the moment I'm in the process of working things out still, you mm -hmm. know. Um, I was going to say I'm a young man, but I'm not. <laughs> I'm still a youngling. But um, no, uh, the idea that I, I can step back and realise when it's working. Mm -hmm. I, can, I can work on something for three days, uh, you know, say, something complicated, and stand back and just think, what have I done? <laughs> But then it happens, and mm -hmm. it comes out, and then those three days just disappear because they never happen, because suddenly I'm working and it's expanding, mm -hmm. you know? So you lose yourself when yeah. you're getting into yeah. a and then you know. and a project. And if it's good, then you feel the same way the next day, okay. you know what I mean? And you run through periods of time like that. Um, but then it's like a writer's block, and then mm -hmm. you turn up and you go, uh, what, how do I hold a paintbrush, what am I, mm -hmm. how do I normally start a painting? What? You know what I mean? It's almost like you're asking too many questions of yourself. Okay. But um, yeah, I mean, that gives you some something. I don't know. Mm -hmm. Okay. And right now you're part of uh, the Unchained Art, yes. International Art Exhibition. Yes. So what does Unchained Art mean to you? I'd say no boundaries, but, but no boundaries in terms of all styles and all techniques and all ideas. It doesn't mean to say, for me, it doesn't mean to say unchained is like dangerous or something, mm -hmm. you know? Mm -hmm. It's the idea that, um, because if it was kept in one kind of niche, you know, like a dangerous niche somewhere, then that's no longer unchained either, mm -hmm. you know what I mean? So yeah, it's everything and nothing, I think. Um, it's about energy, and I think it's about uh, the connection of different artists as mm -hmm. well, you know? And, you know, the way that they're managed and stuff as well. But uh, enjoyment. It's about yeah. enjoyment. Okay. Through art. Great. And uh, tell me, is it true that you won your first art competition when you were 10 years old? Who told you that? <laughs> <laughs> um, yes. Okay, so what did you win it for? Tell I made a, a about it. I made a, you know, it was a school competition. Uh, it was like nationwide or something, but the, the school gave the competition out, so we all kind of had to paint a bird like a bird. Um, so yeah, it was funny because I think I painted two birds. I painted like a falcon and a little chaffinch 
and um, and sent them off separately or whatever. And then um, they, the head teacher kind of spoke about it in uh, assembly and said, "Ah, oh, we have a winner, blah blah." And uh, it turned out that I'd won for this little chaff inch. But the funny thing is, when we got the uh, photos back, uh, photos, the paintings back, um, the falcon had uh, runner-up written on the back, and it was like it's like they'd put runner-up there, and then found out the same name, and we can't give, we can't give him runner-up as well. <laughs> You technically won first and second spot. So well, congratulations! I'm, I'm not they, yeah, I, I wrote runner-up. No. <laughs> okay. Well, no, that's it. Yeah. And um, at the moment, you uh, you live in Berlin, yes, but I originally do. you are born in uh, in Birmingham. In Birmingham, yeah. So how does living in Berlin uh, to you differ yeah, no, from? It's, it's lovely. Yeah. It's great. It's alive. Yeah. 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 But um, um, what would I say? I mean, it, the, it's. It's a huge city mm -hmm. compared to, I mean, in terms of width and so forth. Um, but Birmingham is still a busy industrial city, mm -hmm. you know. Um, so that part it doesn't necessarily change, you know. Yeah. You know that when you wake up in the morning, um, you're going to get traffic uh, coming right through your ears, you know. <laughs> All that kind of life thing. Mm -hmm. But uh, in terms of, it's got an artistic thing, which of course is kind of renowned, really. Mm -hmm. that, that's what Berlin sort of has. But um, you can feel it, I think. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you want to, you want to kind of explore it a little bit. And obviously, there's billions of things to see. Mm -hmm. um, so yeah, it's a life. It's a life. Full of inspiration. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Okay. And now, faces to paint as well. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, exactly. And given that you do mainly portraits um, mm -hmm. in oil, so I'd be really interested to know if you had to choose one person dead or alive, that you absolutely wanted to paint a portrait of, who would you pick? Oh my god. Um, dead or alive? Yeah. That's a lot of people. Mm -hmm. That's like billions of people. Oh, I'll put it down. Um, I don't know because, you know the corny thing where you say, well, I always loved this, Yeah. you know, like, oh my god, David Bowie, I, I could have painted David Bowie. But of course, David Bowie is a, is a face that everyone would happily paint because it's an interesting yeah. face. So I don't know if I'd go that route. I think old faces. I'm, I'm going to have to pull away a little bit from the idea that it's someone known. You know? Okay. Can I just say, old skin? I like painting old skin. You know, like delicate kind of okay. tissue paper mm -hmm. skin. You know, like your grand great grandmother had. You mm -hmm. know what I mean? Where it's like around the eyes and stuff. Um, so you could pick someone famous or someone known that I, I know, and if they've got, if they're over seventy, I'll say yes. Okay. I'll pay them, but uh, otherwise, it's not like um, I don't have any sort of heroes in the same way as like you know you might yearn to, you know. Okay. Yeah. Unless you're going, I'd really love to have painted Socrates, but I've got no idea what he looked like. So. <laughs> okay. Thank you.